Now we are doing exercise 6.2 question number 4. Question number 4, let me write down the question. Question is find the number, find the number of terms of terms, find the number of terms of the AP of the AP 32. 28 24 20 of which the sum is of which the sum is is 1 3 2 solution okay and the question further is explain the double answer okay fine explain the double answer solution so what what is given here the sum is 32 so a is equal to here a a is the first term that is 32 right so a is 32 d will be equal to second term minus first term which will be d will be equal to 28 minus 32 so 28 minus 32 which will be equal to 28 minus 32 it is minus 4 okay so let me write down here minus 4 and what we know is Sn. So we know Sn is equal to 1, 3, 2. Sum. Sum is given. Right. So therefore, using Sn is equal to a n divided by 2, 2a plus n minus 1 d, we have, we have, so instead of Sn put 132 N N we don't know so put N divided by 2 2 A so 2 A 2 into 32 plus N minus 1 N minus 1 we don't know the value of N so minus 1 D D is minus 4 so 132 2 will come this side it will become 132 into 2 is equal to N 32 into 2 it is 64 plus plus into minus it will be minus 4 n 4 into n it will be 4 into n it will be 4 n and 4 into minus 1 it will be minus minus 4 into minus 1 it will be min plus 4 okay now let me take the next page so 132 into 2 it will be 2 to the 4, 2 to the 6, 202, 264, n into 64, wait, 64 plus 4, it is 68, so n into 68 plus, no, minus 4 n, minus 4 n. Now, 264 is equal to 68 into n, it is 68 n minus 4 into n, it will be minus 4 n squared. Transform all these things this side it will be minus 4n will become 4n square 68n will become minus 68n transferring this one this side this one also this side n plus 264 equal 0 if I divide by 4 on both sides so I can cancel 4 and the 4 so it will be n square right minus 68 divided by 4 4 and the 4 4 4 5 the 20, 4 7 to 28, 4 7 the 28, it will be 17 n. And if I divide by 4 here also, it will be 4 6 the 24, 4 6 the 24, so plus 66 is equal to 0. So what I have done is divided by 4 on both sides. Right? Now, this is a quadratic equation, so solving, solving the now let us solve the above quadratic equation. Now let us solve the above quadratic equation. So we need to solve these quadratic equations where a is equal to what is a? The term before n square. Here is 1. So a is 1. b is 
minus 17 minus 17 and c is 66. I hope you know the formula for solving quadratic equation x equal to minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. This is there in the chapter number 4 quadratic equation. I hope it is chapter number 4 or 5, I don't know, I forgot. Must be chapter number 5, yeah, I think it is chapter number 5, quadratic equations, there is this formula. So let us use this formula. Instead of x, we have n here. So write down n will be equal to minus b. Minus b, it will be minus, minus 17 plus minus root over b square. So minus 17 whole square. Write down properly. b square minus 17 whole square minus 4ac. a is 1 and c is 66 divided by 2a divided by 2 into 1. So now minus into minus it will be plus so 17 plus minus root over 17 into 17 17 square it will be 7 7 the 49 7 on the 7 7 7 14 14 plus 4 it is 18 1 on the 1 2 so 2 8 9 2 8 9 minus 6 for the 24 6 for the 24 25 26 so 4 into 66 it is 264 divided by 2 1 2 so min 17 plus minus root over 289 minus 264 9 minus 4 it is 5 8 minus 6 it is 2 divided by 2 I can write down 17 plus minus root over 25 it is 5 divided by 2 now let me take the next switch to make you understand a little bit more so n is equal to 17 plus minus 5 divided by 2 okay now so n is equal to 17 first you take plus 5 divided by 2 or 17 minus 5 minus 5 divided by 2 right so 17 plus 5 it is 22 divided by 2 or 17 minus 5 it is 12 divided by 2 2 and the 2 2 and the 2 2 6 uh, 12 so we got n is equal to 11 or 6 we got two number now this is the answer but the question is saying explain the double answer so why we are getting double answer so why we are getting 11 also or 6 also so let us understand like let us explain the double answer so so the 11 term the 11 terms of the given ap can be written as so let us write down the 11 terms 11 terms will be 32 28 32 28 24 20 24 20 next term will be 20 minus 4 it will be 16 next will be 16 minus 4 it will be 12 next will be 12 minus 4 it will be 8 next will be 8 minus 4 it will be 4 next will be 4 minus 4 it will be 0 next will be 0 minus 4 it will be minus 4 and next will be 4 minus 4 it will be minus 8 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so these are the 11 terms so if you find out s6 so s6 will be equal to what will be s6 sum of all six term right so 32 plus 28 plus 24 plus 20 plus 16 plus 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 s6 means there are six terms so add all those things which an s11 will be equal to s11 will be equal to sum of all these things right so write down 32 plus 28 plus 24 plus 20 plus 16 plus 12 plus 8 plus 4 plus 0 minus 4 minus 8 okay now what you can see is 8 and minus 8 8 and minus 8 can cancel 4 and minus 4 also can cancel so i can write down it as 32 plus 28 plus 24 
plus 20 plus 16 plus 12. So S6 and S11. S6 and S11 are same, right? Are equal. S6 is equal to S11. Okay. That's how we are getting double answer. Either N can be 11 or N can be 6. The answer will be same. Okay. That is the reason for double answer. Okay. So, so you just explain your own term. But yeah, this is how you are going to get the answer. That's all. Thank you so much. We will meet in the next video.